I'm Anrin Smith with Bernheim Arboretum and Research Forest, also representing WBUG Television. And our special guest today is none other than, who are you? What, what are you, I might ask? Well, I am a spittle bug. And I'm just, uh, excuse me, I'm trying to hide myself right now because there's lots of things that want to eat me. Oh my gosh. So, so you are a spittle bug. That's who you are. I what am you a are. spittle bug. Yes, well, I am. Well, 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 what is it that you do, Mr. Spittlebug? Now, you may not have seen a spittle bug that looks like me before, but you might have seen some spittle in your garden or on the side of the road while you're taking a walk. Now, just because you see some spittle on the side of the road doesn't mean someone's been hawking a loogie. It could very well be me hiding out so that no one will eat me. Which reminds me, hold on one. Now, normally, I like to sip a lot of juice from plants. Oh, that's good stuff. But then, after I've sucked all the juice out of the plant, guess what? It's time to hide again. So what do I do? Well, I blow bubbles. That's fascinating. So how do you blow bubbles? Well, it's kind of gross, actually. I'm not going to lie. So people call me Spittlebug, but really, they should call me Piddlebug because <laughs> I drink so much juice from the plants that I have to pee a lot. And I've actually gathered some of my pee right here for you all to see oh, how gross. I make my bubbles. So yeah, here is my, uh, my piddle. And what I do is I take the urine that I create and I make bubbles. Wow. And then wow. I wrap myself up in my bubbles and no one can find me. Now, I said I pee a lot and I'm talking a lot. If I was as big as a 150 pound human being, I would produce 2,700 gallons of pee a day. That's a lot of piddle spittle. Well, that is impressive. I had no idea. You know, I really never knew that. But I am very curious. One of the reasons I was so excited about having you on, on our program today is I thought you could answer a question for me. Okay, I'm happy you to answer so, questions. Just a second, I gotta finish hiding first. Can you see me? Yeah, I can still see okay. you. Okay. So, so I can still see you. <laughs> all right, that's, you're pretty good. You're almost all hidden now, oh, right? Oh, good, good, that's, good, good. That's excellent, excellent. So, I guess. All right, what's your question? Well, what is it that you, I know you blow spit, but what is it that you do? I mean, you know, most all creatures have some role in the environment, ecology, economy, something. What is it that you do? Well, I'll tell you what I don't do, and that is ruin plants. A lot of gardeners see me and say, ah, he's going to eat all my plants. But I do not destroy gardens. So if you see some spittle, you could just say, oh, hey, it's a little spittle bug, and I won't bother your crops at all. The other thing that I do is I grow into a really cool bug called a frog hopper. It's kind of like a leaf hopper, except it has a wider backside like a frog. And once I turn into a frog hopper, I'm really fun to look at. And if you're a bird, I'm really fun to eat. You have to be a fast bird, I bet. Oh yeah, I mean frog hoppers, we're, we're like fast hoppers okay. like frogs. Um, yeah. I'm gonna call you on something. Uh-oh. I am. I have heard, maybe this is, I'm hearing urban legend. I've heard two things. I heard that you were called snake spit, but now I know that you had nothing to do with snakes. Am I correct on that? I have nothing to do with snakes. Okay. But the only thing I want to call you on is that you say you're harmless to plants. Is that true for big fields of alfalfa and things like that? I well, mean, maybe not so harmful to gardens, but... Maybe I was stretching the truth a little bit, uh, but, I mean, I'm not going to just flat out admit that sometimes I can cause damage to crops. Uh, but the, the good news is I'm pretty easy to get rid of. Uh, you don't need to use pesticides or anything. If you see me and you're like, ah, I don't want him sucking the juice out of my plants, all you need to do is get a hose and spray me off. It clears up as easy as a pile of spit. Does that bother you when you get sprayed? Well, I mean, I don't love it. Would you love it if someone came and sprayed you with a hose? It's not very fun, but 
I'd probably just hop away and go make my pile of spit somewhere else. Yeah, that sounds really like a very good strategy for staying alive. And I also heard that you, that you do this not just to stay hidden, but on these hot days. Oh man, I tell you what, it's like 90 something degrees outside, inside this spit. It is a perfect, not 90 degrees. I don't have my thermometer on, but the bubbles help me to stay cool and they keep me from dehydrating, so I get to stay nice and wet. Now, some people think that the bubbles are things that I can breathe when I'm staying hidden, but to tell you the truth, in order to breathe, all I do is I stick my abdomen out of the bubbles and breathe a little bit through my bum because, well, I mean, that's how insects breathe, believe it or not. That's right. Some insects are butt breathers, right? Exactly. Is that what you're saying? That's pretty amazing. Well, w before you leave today, or before I leave, because I think you're just going to hang out here amongst the plants. Yeah, that... I got it made in the spit. <laughs> that's great. So, what is it you would most like our viewers today to understand about you? Viewers out there in WBUG land, I need you to understand that all bugs are special. Whether they wrap themselves up in spit or fly from flower to flower, some of us are a little less spitty and pee than others, but all bugs are important. Whether it's pollination or feeding the nation, bugs are necessary. Thank you so very much. You've been a delightful and interesting guest. And don't forget to poke in the spit and find me someday. <laughs> Thank you. You have a good day, Mr. Spittlebell. You too. Bug off now.